Hi everybody. Okay, today in our ICU crush course, we're going to talk about tracheostomy. Tracheostomy is just something that you must know about if you're going to work in ICU or if you're going to do an ICU rotation, whether as a resident or as a hospitalist. So we're gonna focus on the part that matter for us as hospitalists or internal medicine residents. So the way we're gonna approach this subject, we're going to talk about why we need it, why it's needed, the tracheostomy, when we should consider putting a tracheostomy, and how we're going to approach family because this is something we have to discuss with family ahead to explain to them exactly what it means, why do we need it, all of these to get this consent. And this is very important part and even more important before even this is the patient right candidate for that before approaching the family. Then we're going to talk a little bit about the techniques, the, 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 the tubes, the, the tracheostomy tubes themselves, and then the possible complications, general care, Again, all of these from our perspective, not from surgical perspective. Plenty of issues with the tracheostomy when they happen, or actually most issues, we need to contact whoever placed them and let them know and handle the complication if possible. So these are the topics, main things that we're going to talk about. But first of all, just in case you know, this is the tracheostomy. You know, in IC, we have intubated patients on mechanical ventilation, right? Where they have the AT tube coming through their mouth into the trachea, right? As you see here, and most of you probably already know, this is we bypass the mouth and we create an opening in the neck and put a tube directly in the trachea at the same location where we leave the AT tube. So instead of connecting the ventilator to the tube in the mouth, we connect this directly uh, in the neck. And even before we go about the advantages of this and talk about it, you can guess the advantages of having a tube in the neck in the mouth we will come to uh, that um, but that's just to give you a quick example of what the tracheostomy looks like and we'll come to the a quick uh, like a description of the tracheostomy tubes themselves thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are 